I was listening to a Joe Rogan episode with uh, Bill Meyer, and for people who don't know, Bill Meyer is a uh, like political commentator in the United States, and um, he's very like straight down the middle. Um, he believes in things from right and the left, and kind of like Joe as well. Uh, but they were talking about something that I have noticed recently. Um, well, not recently. It's always been there, but like it seems like it's being pushed on our face a lot, re- like more so uh, recently. And it's about representation. So I believe I own like there is a time and place for representation, but when you force it at someone, it starts to become annoying. So take for example, I I watch Moon Knight on uh, Disney Plus. So Disney. They're going in the same way as like Google and like all the social media um, outlets where they're trying to push this like woke factor. And um, some people might be oblivious to it because they don't pay attention to it. But because I'm like, I, I enjoy looking at politics and like, uh, and looking at different like uh, world, like media, news media outlets. And um, they're always talking about this. And uh, some of the people that, I align my principles to also talk about this. So the likes of Joe Rogan, Bill Maher, um, Russell Brand, stuff like that. And uh, on Disney Plus on Moon Knight, so Moon Knight is this Egyptian hero, superhero, and he wasn't a vegan. So I don't understand why Disney are making him into a vegan. Do you know, like, Why? I, I just don't understand. So I hate whenever they fucking force feed you that bullshit because I was watching it and it was great. Like, it was amazing. Like, didn't need to, like, fucking put that in there. Like, there's there's a woman superhero in it as well. And she's fucking, she's fantastic. It's brilliant. Like, but it wasn't sho- shoved in your face. But I felt like the little vegan comment was shoved in your face to, like, make you aware that, oh, superheroes can be vegans too. Like, Ah, it's fucking annoys me and then it leads you on to look at other things about representation and like about body positivity and stuff like that like honestly if you're overweight you, you've you got an eating disorder that's it like that's it you've got an eating disorder if you're overweight you've got an eating disorder no one's happy overweight they may think they're like they're portraying to you online that they're happy but they're not happy. Trust me, they're fucking not. I'm even annoyed at myself that I've got a little bit of tiny blubber on on my uh, on my midsection, and I'm going to the gym and working harder to fucking try and get rid of it. And I know one hundred percent for a fact that those fat cunts are not happy. Trust me, they're not. Anytime I talk to anyone, like in the office or um, anyone that I know, and they talk about their their body it and obviously like you can tell that they're overweight they're not happy so i don't understand why people are trying to push this out here to make everyone feel okay because they're not it's weird i don't know that's just why i think (laughs) you can let me know what you think about that but i feel coming back to my original point about representation um i I just wait i hope we're coming over a curve where it's hit the point of wokeness and all this wokeness bullshit is going to go away because it is quite annoying that you see it like all the time and they're pushing it in your face. It'd be different if it came in now and again, but it's literally everything. Like even adverts on TV is crazy. Um, and again, like I'm not fucking like, like people like to put labels on things nowadays as well. Like with um, like, you know, phobias at the end and stuff like that there. And I'm not, I'm not. I I believe if you're a good human being, if you're a good human being, you want the best for everyone. And telling someone that they're overweight, which could further lead down the line to like you know health conditions and stuff like that, there and implications. I don't think that's a bad thing. You're actually helping that person. Uh, yeah. If you have any thoughts about that as well, put them in the comments. I'll uh, be happy to respond. Uh. And it goes the same as well with people who are too skinny. They fucking obviously want to put on more weight because they're not happy being too skinny. 
So I think you just have to find that right balance in the middle, which is obviously not going to lead to like health complications. Um, again, my opinion, come at me if you want. 